So, the magic of thinking big. Acquire the secrets of success. Achieve everything you've always wanted. Personal property, financial security, power and influence, the ideal job, satisfying relationships, a rewarding and enjoyable life by David J. Schwartz, Ph.D. Wow. Well, quite a mouthful. Well, when I first got this book, I didn't expect much of it. Um, to be honest, it looks bland. If you look at the cover, it looks like it's about everything. So I figured it wasn't really, um, since it was about so many topics, I figured it, it wasn't really good at any one of them. Um, but I still decided to get it though, because I had read about it in the four hour work week. It's one of the um, four books that Tim Ferriss recommends that um, were the most influential in his life and his career. So I decided, hey, why not take a look at it? And surprisingly, I found that many of the of what is in this book you'll find in the 4-hour workweek by Tim Ferriss. Um, however, I did find a lot of value coming from that book to this one because it helped clear a lot of the concepts you'll find in 4-hour workweek, mostly uh, when it comes to um, believing in your success and realizing that uh, being successful is not about being a magically enhanced person or being uh, God blessed or something. It's just about getting the right habits and really realizing that people who are successful at millionaires aren't a cut, a cut above any of us. And this was really eye-opening eye and in fact the great thing I think about this book is that by showing you these things by realizing that you can do it, you, well, in my case, I became a lot more confident about my project and I had a lot more, um, I had an easier time motivating myself because it's like, I saw that the finish line was right around the corner, but, well, I already kind of felt that, but I felt that the corner was much closer than I used to feel it to be. So, yeah, if you're looking for a book to become motivated and to believe in your success, I think this is where you can you should look. You learn about self-belief, taking action, thinking big, having big goals, building confidence, realizing that you can achieve things that without needing to be extraordinary, um, it's about managing your environment, being around the right people, how to interact with people, and yeah, especially be interacting with people. I was really surprised how many communication tips you get in here. It's like, um, it's surprising. I think about a fifth of the book is about communicating with other people, how to make friends, how to, well, how to be more influential, how to look more powerful, how to make people believe in you more, and... A lot of this come into getting the right attitudes and getting the um, the right habits when interacting with people. For example, getting totally focused on the moment and giving 100% of your attention to the conversation and what you're saying. Let's say I'm shaking someone's hand. I'm not ju just doing like 50% of effort, just like, yeah, nice to meet you, barely even um, squeezing. If I'm doing it like 100% of my energy and thoughts into it, I am shaking your hand and I'm coming right purposeful, controlled. It's going to come out as very much more powerful and imagine the impact, the increase in impact this is going to make in your first impressions. And I've experienced this. People look at you in a better light and seem to think that you're a more uh, important person. And these tips are actually very easy. I really enjoy these parts of the books. Now, there are some parts of the book that, uh, that I personally didn't, didn't find that important, notice to, to my project, but that's mainly because these were things that I, I already learned from other books. 
mainly the four hour work week um, and that I really didn't need more examples of it too and another nitpick I have to say with this book is that the examples that he gives for thinking big are actually not that big thinking to me it's like there's a point in the book where the author talks about his friend who came to him and was like man I'd really like to have that good job but you know I need a degree and I can't go back to school and things and things and things and the author was like man I showed him how to think big and with this he managed to find the time and the will to, to, to go back to school and get his degree and I was like man that's so lame. It's like this is the most, this is the, the thinking big. Is this what thinking big is? Because that seems very small to me. Um, coming back, if you know about me, I mean, I've skipped like three years of college, like following a few online courses on um, web development and managed to get a very high paying job by also learning how to sell myself. And I feel that I didn't feel that that was very big thinking, but compared to what is in here, I feel this is rubbish. Actually, if you want to get a good job um, and you're ready to think big, um, watch into online courses. That's my uh, my uh, <clears throat> recommendation to you. But anyway, so um, <clears throat> is this book good? Yes, it is. Actually, I was very surprised about its quality. Um, Pleasantly so. However, I would say that it's worth it if you already own the 4-hour work week. But if you don't, I would actually recommend you purchase the 4-hour work week first instead. First of all, uh, most of what the important content from this book can be found in the 4-hour work week. It's better summarized, it's, sh it's in shorter sections and you can get like 90% of this book is in this book and this book is a lot more ambitious as well um, you learn act you learn how to make businesses that make money without you um, you learn basically how to make money without having to work which is a very fantastic thing this is one of the best books I've ever read not only on pro on thinking big but also on pro being productive and having a meaningful life uh, with that said, that doesn't mean that Magic of Thinking big, big isn't good, it's actually very fantastic, but since most of it is in the 4-hour work week, I would actually recommend 4-hour instead. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more awesome content coming soon, I highly recommend you click on the subscribe button down below for more uh, book reviews and we also uh, give reviews on online courses and tips on how you can build your business online in your mother base basement. If you're interested in this, I recommend you subscribe and with that, if there's an online course or a book you want us to review, write it in the comments down below. With that said, my name is Alec Gagné. As always, my name doesn't change and I'll see you soon.